Benvenuto. Hello and welcome to Radio Milan. Tonight, join me with Les's poolside etiquette. Tonight at 9 o'clock, the interview king is on the airwaves. And at 12, Grande Moto Gombe loses his luggage at O'Hare. See more and ponder with us on Frequency 1. And I'll have live coverage of Team Maduco Racing Victories from all over the globe. News, weather, and professional wrestling, we've got it for you on Radio Milan. My name is Eric Kerr. I'm in a band called Radio Milan. We are the radio. Do you have any questions? We're coming into your living room. We are. We're cutting a swath straight through your front door. We've got the big holy lawnmower, and we're coming to mow your lawn. Well, Radio Milan is the name of a band. Uh, the name of our group was originally The Insects. Okay, Mr. Lefty. Let's go over this once more. Where were you Saturday night, October 15th? It was 8 p.m. I just swung my car into the Westworld Inn. I parked next to the International Ballroom there. Where is that? About 51st and South Peoria. It's just across Scully Drive from the Camelot Inn. Big portable sign out front. Go on. Well, I went inside, heard a band playing. What band? It was the Insects. They were live, loud, sort of cute. Just the facts, sir. Well, I went in case the joint for a few minutes. Next thing I know, there's this fashion show presented by Marilyn Ilofs at Stonehorse. And the room was spinning. I was getting dizzy, cold sweat. Go on. The band started playing again and ringing in my ears. What then? Well, I, I saw this girl. She was tall, slender, beautiful. I walked up behind her. I... Is that when it happened? Yeah, I... I danced. I understand uh, 
you were uh, an insect. Yeah, I was when I was a kid, but uh, I, it was kind of like joining a club, you know. Nobody ever accused me of being smart for doing it, but... Well, I was going to school, college, yes, that's right. I needed a drummer, and that was me, a drummer. Try it out. The rest is history. Heard an Eric recently. Ha! Little joke there. I like Eric. His uh, his uh, hair's not the right color though. We're we're trying to do something about that. Well, Eric has been uh, called Grande Moto Gambe by the Italian press, and what does that mean? I'd have to. That means the great moving legs because he, the, his energy on stage, his performance is just incredible. It's dynamite. It's center stage. It really is. It's all Hollywood. And then we have one of the most powerful vocal atrocities ever presented to anybody to ever listen to. No, our, uh, our uh, singer is not to be believed, uh, actually. I, uh, I can't say enough yeah, about interview Eric. Interview King! King. Oh, <laughs> that, uh, that IK. IK is what we call him. Interview King. Scott Miller. I tell you, I've got more respect for Scott Miller than most other guitar players that I've ever known, let alone played with. Here's a guy who's built his entire career out of the fact that he's the world's worst guitarist, but he pulls it off so well that you just sit there and say, my God, the guy is really talented. But, uh, that's the little joke we tell about Scott. Actually, Scott's musical direction in the band is a uh, very unique one. He's the one that kind of develops the pop blends, pop blends of our group. And uh, he's a really neat guy, and he can make more noises out of his mouth than any other human being. The guy's got, he's a man of a million noises. He's a rocker. He's wild. He doesn't know what he's doing, but it sounds great. None of us really know what we're doing. Though. How about, how about so, Les? Les seems to know what he's doing, though. That's his major flaw. Uh, Les, our drummer, he is uh, very elementary in getting that point across. Les is a great, great drummer for dance music because people enjoy watching him. He's sort of like Gene Krupa. People like to go and watch the guy play as much as they like hearing the band and hearing the music. He's Les, Les. Now, uh, he's, he's my newest friend. I like Les a lot. We share common musical tastes. Rexy Baby Brown. Rex is an incredible bass player. And I, coming from an old bass player, that's, uh, I guess, somewhat of a compliment. He writes most of the 
song lines of the material that we write and the guy is a true artist in every sense of the word. He has no job, he's always bumming money off of you. Uh, Rex is a Rex is a personal friend of mine. Uh, we, we go way back. <laughs> JRB, he's a real man's man. worth of good golf. Check the oil, watch the windshield, remember the little brontosaurus, and the funny little machine that pressed out the little dinosaurs. Well, they're all gone now, but their parent company stock just went up five points. Let's try to do something real spontaneous, okay? Like for the ending. Yeah. Because at the end, you know, that, like, well, like, yeah. they have things for yeah. the band to sit yeah. and talk, yeah. and write, and yeah. all the credits over it. Professional spontaneity. You know, yeah. well, or, or bullet riddle bodies. Yeah. Bullet you know? riddle bodies. Rick Hall. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bullet riddle bodies. Yeah. 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 Bullet yeah. I'm Rick Hall. Yeah. I'm Rick with Hall. I'm Rick with Hall. Bullet riddle bodies. Bullet riddle bodies. Bullet riddle bodies. Bullet riddle bodies. That wouldn't work. I'd rather do something like that. Use for ourselves. Bullet riddle bodies. Bullet riddle bodies. Bullet riddle bodies. Oh, do the end. Is this thing on? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Wait, uh, hold the tape. 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 Hold the tape
If you're a veteran, I have a special offer for you. Is this seat taken? Have a seat. Make my day. <laughs> Radio, my mind. Square, force. I have some information to relate to you about the captain's cabin. Coming. It's about the captain's cabin, 41st and Memorial. The action's happening there. It's simply the place to be. My intelligence confirms there's live dancing. Music. You bet, we're talking about square force. Did I hear those gentlemen say something about Square Force playing? Oh, how exciting! We'll simply have to be there. Oh my, yes. My sources tell me that these gentlemen will also be there. Radio Milan? I'm afraid so. Radio Milan, on the airwave? Indeed, they owe me money. March 30th, Square Force and Radio Milan at the Captain's Cabin, 7970 East 41st. You've got to be there. Tulsa's hottest bands. Godzilla, my best friend, he goes there all the time.